see behind me, behind this virtual background, you'd see a picture of my wedding party. It's got friends from college, med school, and business school. And that's what Harvard is to me, a group of people that I love, people who have been there for me to celebrate my greatest moments, but also to support me in my hardest moments, and who've been there for all of the times in between. These are the people who more than anything else have influenced the person who I've become. When I think about Harvard's mission, I'm reminded of the words above Dexter Gate. Enter to grow in wisdom, depart to better serve thy country and thy kind. Harvard has to continue to produce new knowledge and sit at the center of innovation, to create an environment where students can challenge and be challenged and cultivate a sense of purpose and a commitment to justice. Harvard's a place that's given me so, so much and being able to give back would be a great privilege. And that's why I'm running for overseer. Harvard and higher education writ large has to be less focused on training for today and more on preparing students for tomorrow. That means it's less about content and information and more about foundations and principles, frameworks and decision-making. We have to teach students how to identify and then challenge the key assumptions underpinning their work. We want the students of tomorrow to be SIBs. They have to learn what's valuable in the ways that we do things today so that they can build on that. But more importantly, they can't be afraid to identify what has to be thrown out and changed. We have to foster the creativity to decide what tomorrow should look like and then enable the skills to build that future. So we're preparing students for the unknown and that's a very hard task, but it's also a critical one. There are three specific areas we should really be focused on and that's driving and being stewards of technological innovation, embracing diversity and fostering community, and promoting justice, specifically around wealth inequality and climate change.